bonus with face, pat, and tiz. Uh, man, y'all seen this this whole Fresh and Fit podcast trash that's going on where they had um, what they done did now? Oh man, they had the rapper Asian Doll up there. Saw that, saw well, that, Asian, saw that. Whatever. And since then, and I feel like I feel like Asia like Asian Doll uh, people they probably reignited the um, basically this whole campaign or whatever. But I'm glad it was put out or whatever. But they are on video saying basically they don't they don't date black women or whatever. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, I, it's funny. I never used that one, bro. But hey, man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah. Like I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're you know red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark. If you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, but yeah. it's it, it's one thing to have a preference, but when you saying it and you sound like you're saying terms that damn near sound like some KKK shit. We we not night riders, the bone quishas and the, the quishas, yo. Like personal preferences. It's no one bats an eye when women say I want a man that's six feet tall makes a certain amount of money, blah, blah, blah. Those are considered preferences. But if I say, hey, man, I don't date black girls like that. Oh, God. You hate black women. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. My mom's black. Your mom's black. Yeah. My sister's black. Like, bro, we just have a preference. If we hated black women, would we bring African-American women and black women on the show? Okay. How old are you? The like 70 years old, nigga? Anyhow. No, bro. bro no, no, white ass dog right here. Bro, you're you're bro. saying I don't date black women, right? Bro, I'm from Barbados, bro. My whole... A life basically, I was in black chicks. So your assumption based off of like, oh, these guys are celebrities and they don't like they, they're cockers always whatever. Bro, at the same time, I respect your opinion. We don't know us. So for you to say that, I just find it hysterical because you're assuming based off of a clip. Now, I don't know what you date, I don't care what you date, none of my business. So what you gotta say, bro, because you're talking a lot of shit right now, bro. Man. Crack jokes, but crack on this cracker. That's what we want to see you crack on. Okay, so, Nick, you're, so you're you're making derogatory <laughs> white people, uh, and that's okay. <laughs> like straight up, <laughs> like we're gonna make jokes on everyone. And, oh, you're putting down the black woman. Real talk, with all due respect, this is how you look right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking car world, bro. This how you. <laughs> I like a lot of times with stuff like that, I try to ignore it. But man, like, and um, yeah, I just I'm I'm glad people are starting to say more stuff about it. It's gotten to the point that Joe Budden said something about it. Joe Budden and Royce Cloud and I said something like, "We shouldn't have this type of like not these guys. They should not be the ones that be saying, hey." This is man behavior, right? Pretty much, um, and then it's a simple fact that the dude fresh is black as fuck. <laughs> man, who the darkest of the dark? They both have some serious <laughs> issues, dude. But if you if you watch how they move, man, like period, like it's mm -hmm. a lot there that you can tell that like they some hurt dudes that then went through some shit with some women in their life and they just angry at women, period. And specifically, black women must have done them pretty dirty at some point. And I also think some of the stuff they're saying is just for reaction as well. And I believe some, some, and of views, no, it's, it's all some of their views are hyper-exaggerated just to get a reaction mm -hmm. out of somebody or just to support a narrative about who they are and how they, how they um, feel. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. A lot of people go on, go on their platforms and they they views they spew on their platform they may be totally different than their own personal views that they have off mm -hmm. the platform you feel me like it's, a, it's all a character so for some people now that may not be them but i'm just saying it could be um as far as downing a, 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 an entire race of women uh 
once again, no one thing or no no group has characterized together as a monolith. Each person is different. Now, the common denominator, you have to find a common denominator in every situation. Now, if you've been hurt in multiple situations by the same race of women, who? But the common denominator ain't the race of the woman. You got to look deeper than that. You're too close to the situation. Look deeper to find the real root of where that hurt comes from, the, the, the same characteristics all those women have. And if there is no common denominator, look in the mirror. Because sometimes you can inflict some hurt on yourself in a relationship. Your decisions could end up making your feelings be hurt. Your decisions can lead a woman to do something to hurt you. So it takes self-awareness and that zoom in, zoom out thing we always talk about. And take a step back so you won't be so close to the scene. So see that bigger picture. Take another step back and see the biggest picture and be self-aware. You feel me? In these situations, I can't speak on them. I mean, me personally, I've been hurt. I've only dated, like personally dated and been in relationships with Black women. But I've had dealings with other cultures. You could say it like that. Um, so being I've been in relationships with Black women, most of my relationship hurt have come from Black women. I haven't given other races, I haven't afforded them the opportunity to do that. So, of course, my view there would be different. But at the same time, that's not going, how can I say, sway my view on an entire race of any women. My experiences that I had with the few, the rare few I had. Them. Because at the end of the day, I didn't date the entire race. So how can I judge mm-hmm. a race based on my few experiences? True. I think, um, what were you about to say, Tiff? No, go ahead, bro. Well, I was I was going to say that I feel like one part of that is, is it that you don't date Black women or you're, they're just not choosing to date you for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> is that the, like because this this is my thing about them right so i i've been looking at them for like as far as for a while because i've seen people put up their videos and stuff like that so i look at people just to see what they're about or whatever and um and then after a while it's just like all right you had some points that all right that sound valid but your actions and just the, the shit you do, it, I'm seeing more and more flaw shit after a while. Like with with them, like and the, at the rate that they're doing, they just been out since February of 2020. The way you would think they've like blown up, you think they've been there for a while, but they just been out. I looked at it; they've been, only been up for like since February of. 2020 and then it's just back to back controversy or whatever it was the abba and preach thing but they like insulted um insulted um the dude wife was it um preacher's wife or whatever and he challenged them to a boxing match and then it's just the simple fact that when people do a rebuttal video against them they're actually like um they're like reporting them to youtube or whatever, saying it's not fair use, and then YouTube is saying back basically like they can do this pretty much, whatever. That's that scandal, and then we have this popping up or whatever. So I feel like they they do flaw shit, and eventually everything comes to light after a while. Especially if you just as soon if if you're if your uh, 15 minutes of fame is just like burning that quickly or whatever, it's going to fizzle out just as fast. Right. Pretty that's much. Big fact. And, I, I, and I feel like that's what they're doing. They're going for the quick troll. They get some type of views so they can build up their subscribers. They're, they're stuck in that or whatever. It went from, it went from talking about a uh, man relationship shit to all right, we're gonna just get a whole bunch of random OnlyFans and stripper bitches and all this other stuff. Excuse me for saying stripper bitches if that's the wrong thing to say. 
I'm pretty sure it was, but <laughs> whatever. But whatever the PC term for it, please place right there. I apologize. And <laughs> and um, fuck it. I don't even. I don't care because I don't know what to say. But <laughs> but they're going to get a whole bunch of them up there. Just and it's not like. They don't have all women. They just got a particular type of woman that they know that they will be able to get some type of a rise from or whatever. And let's see who's going to get emotional and which one I can shout at just so I can kick them out for another video. That's just it's all the speculation. It's like WWE now with that. So uh, I just wanted to say that that um, after a while, and I feel like I did, gave them a... Um, a certain amount of chances or whatever to like show me that I right, this is not no fuck shit that I'm watching or whatever but more and more stuff come out it's, it just seemed like they're all fuckery with no good pretty much but yeah a lot of it just, and Priest Beef kind of showed me and I haven't I hadn't really watched before that shit popped up because of Abbott. Like, I watch Abbott and Preach, so that's the main reason why I found out about Fresh and Fit, because I ain't know who these niggas were. Yeah, me too. I didn't even know they existed. And then to be as good as they are, I, I, they weren't in my algorithm. But then mm-hmm. I started looking at it, I was like, oh, yeah, there's some wild shit here. Um, I will say, though, that Abbott and Preach did make a really good point. They were like, um, a lot of the subset of women that they deal with is a very specific type of woman. It is the only... Yep. Miami, I'm involved in the fast paced party lifestyle. That's my that's my general thing. And when you're dealing with women like that, like you're going to get a very specific type of behavior from all of them, but specifically from the black women of that ilk, because they are again modeling after a certain type. You're gonna get more of the city girls type if you're looking at the 20 to 25 year old young woman in Miami that is an IG model or OnlyFans girl. When you're dealing in that world, that's what you're going to get because that's their general thing. You know what I mean? Like, if you want something different, then start hanging with different types of women and actually talking to them. But that's not what you want because, for one, you ain't going to get no ratings from being able to kick them women out because them women ain't going to do nothing that make you look like you valid for kicking them out. But two, them women are probably not going to come on your show but three, if they do come on your show, you're probably going to end up losing a lot of your fan base because everything they do on their channel that is not over sensationalized, them kicking somebody out or some real like shock value type shit, it's not getting views. Like their shit, when they do shit about finance or something, don't nobody watch that shit. Mm-mm. But as soon as they nope. Do that Frank Castle shit or something. So I think a lot of what you said as far as them doing it for views is is there. And I also think that there's something to say about like when dudes say they don't like any specific race of woman, I always wonder like, what's the subset of women you actually dealing with? Are you dealing with a broad range of that race? Or are you like in a specific place picking up women of a specific type and then overgeneralizing? Like, I think there are generalizations in the world that can be made about different groups of people, but to overgeneralize without the actual population set to back it up. It just make you look crazy, man. And that's what they end up looking most like, crazy as fuck. So this don't surprise me that they are looking like they are uh, pretty much self-racist because everything they've done up until now shows us they fuck with. And, and like, another thing. Be real about what it is, man. <coughs> it's ball, and but- another thing. Stop using Frank Castle. I like to punish him. Man, I'm going to tell you, man. This, these, dude, these are the dudes all the wrong people that we would have been. Like, oh, look at them cornballs right there when we was back in college. Like, and, and I ain't saying, like, we super cool, but, like, when they're the type of dudes that don't know how to be themselves. And, you know, we hang with all types. But, like, when you don't know how to be yourself, like, that shit. What the fuck you talking about? We super cool like a motherfucker. I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, but I, I consider, I guess, I guess I'm looking at like society's version of cool. Like we ain't walking around trying to do no cool shit. We just contending who we are and we cool with that. And I think that's what makes them lame is that's that they're cool. stuck trying to be cool as opposed to just being themselves. And I think if they were themselves, they're afraid that people wouldn't fuck with them. People wouldn't even watch that shit because 
maybe they don't have their personality naturally to have anybody give a fuck. And I think that's what a lot of it is in that, especially on their show, but in that general type of like that <clears throat> over misogynistic, everybody, fuck everybody. They, you know, the women, I, I think a lot of that shit come from like dudes that was like, they not comfortable being themselves around women and they've been rejected. And instead of them putting it on, okay, maybe it was because I was so awkward with being myself, or maybe it was because of this, they put it on the woman and says something wrong with the women. And then you lead to these niggas. So I, I, I yeah. Just exactly. yeah. layered shit down. <clears throat> it all boiled down to them being fuck boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fuck boys. Uh them city boys are not up on this one. And uh I, I said I was gonna 